Today I'm picking up where I left off last time. This is the combiner box. All six of the gray wires come in here and combine. And then we run this big four gauge wire out. So it's 10 gauge coming in, four gauge going out. Now a lot of even Airstreams and some RVs are wired for solar, but I guarantee you they're not wired with four gauge. They're wired for like one or two panels. And a lot of people think, oh good, that'll save me so much time and money. You're gonna have to rewire it if you go with a seriously big solar setup. So today we're gonna be running the grays into here and the red and blacks out. The red and black is gonna go through, I have to drill some holes in there, through the fridge vent and down down into the interior. Kind of freaky drilling holes in that, but we're modifying the trailer by adding these, not a big deal. It's also freaky knowing that these are generating power right now. So I'm not gonna be wiring these while the sun is out. Here's how the combiner box works. There's these four knockouts here, and this is actually meant to drill a hole in your roof and then run the cables down. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna drill into the fridge vent instead and we will be good to go. Okay, we got four knockouts, but six wires coming in. I gotta figure out where to put two more knockouts. All right, here's my modified combiner box. It used to only have a hole here, 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 and here. I added these three and this one. It's gonna sit right about here. I'm gonna tape it down and seal it all up. But the two main big old four gauge leads are gonna come through here and go through this fridge vent. So I need to mark this where I'm gonna drill. I'm gonna go put something in there to catch all the metal shavings so I don't have to vacuum them out later. Let me show you where that pops out. All right, in here, above the fridge, we have this panel that wasn't originally removable, but we ripped it out. And in here, up here, this is the top of the fridge. There's my vent where my wires are gonna poke out and come over here and run down that cavity down to underneath the fridge where our inverter is, under the channel and back up into there where our batteries are going. So I'm gonna put something in here to catch all the metal shavings when I drill into there. Really nice drilling through aluminum and not steel. There's the, the finished product. That was a little nerve wracking, but sometimes you just gotta go for it. I've been thinking about this a lot and I'm glad that's over. Now I'm gonna go modify this box to make sure everything fits. All right, got a lot more clearance in there now. Okay, I'm just gonna move that over just a bit like that. Let's see if that fits. It fits. buy us just a little more room. I could move it over even more if I wanted to. I think I'm okay for now. That buys me a lot more room to snake my wires through there. Teresa's gonna be in here putting the nut on inside the fridge vent and I'll be up top threading the metal one of these, the strain relief thing, threading that in from the outside. Feel that? That? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that what I'm screwing it on? Yeah, you can just hold it up to it and I'll twist it from this end. That looks great, you ready? Oh man, that went really well. Okay, here comes the next one. It's closer to the front of the trailer. That is sharp. 
metal. Okay. Yeah. Yay. Perfect. All right, now I'm just going to tighten up these bolt these nuts that Teresa put on. It's cool those little nuts that she had have texture on them and they're grabbing into that aluminum so when I turn this side <coughs> they're pulling in. I'm gonna have Teresa pass the wires through up here. Her arms <coughs> her arms so small she can fit the whole thing above the fridge and her elbow can move so hire Teresa if you ever need to do this. Up just a little more. Down. Oh you're you're so close just up a tiny bit there. <coughs> Good job. <laughs> yep, I got them. Totally protected from the elements, too. If it rains, it's not getting on those. And they're set up, so the hole I drilled in there is high enough that if water runs this way, it's not going to go in there either. I'm going to seal this up before I have a whole mess of cables in there. Okay, now this box is 100% sealed. This is pretty exciting. I'm about to run all the cables into the box. Been a fun project. I am ready for the roof part <laughs> to be done. I'm ready for the whole thing to be done. I'm ready to be in Arizona enjoying warm life. But we're getting there. I can just zip tie these all together. One big happy cord family. Come on in, guys. There's plenty of room in this house for you. Except there's not. Tighten these with a wrench later. Remember, Scouts, never cut toward yourself. Oh man, my back is gonna be so happy when I'm done with this. This is why you pay someone so much money to do this for you. So your back will work long into your retired years. This is kind of confusing, but black is actually positive. Weird, huh? I'm glad I moved that over. This would not have fit. First, I'm gonna connect the big leads. I really think I should have got a bigger combiner box. This stuff is not quite fitting in here very well. Just a lot going on. Making you nervous yet? Making myself nervous. I figured I should make room for the biggest leads first and then make everything else work around it. That would have been really hard to connect these two with a million other wires running around. Whew! <sighs> that was a pain. Dang it. I get Dicor on everything. Pretty simple when you think about it. A black and a white comes from each solar panel, connects to this, and then these guys take it all down into the airstream. All right. Got half of the positives wired. Left them a little long in case I ever want to change it. I don't know how I'm fitting all this in there, but it's working. One more. Well, if I ever go to more solar, I'm going to get a different combiner box that can handle the size I'm going to be going for. Wow, that is jam-packed. whole bunch of stuff jammed into a tiny spot. But I'm really proud of that. That is a great wired panel. My wires are all pretty leading up to it. Super clean. Really, really happy with that. It feels really good to have that done tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna be installing the charge controller and our 500 amp hour lithium bank. And my buddy Corbin's gonna come over to help with that because I've about reached the end of what I'm capable of doing right now. I don't understand enough about electronics to wire a charge controller or the batteries, so I'll need his help for that.